all these have pretty well defrosted so that's good no cracks no nothing so i think i saved those luckily all right short time let the chickens out hi blue Good kitty. so we got our cat back we thought he disappeared we didn't see him for how long was it like a month I didn't see him for a long time. It might be a month and a half. Yeah, it was a really long time. And then all of a sudden, I was out here, oh, last week, we were getting ready to process turkeys. And I seen him coming down the road. And we started calling him, and he came right to us, wanted to eat and drink water. And uh, now we hadn't seen him for like three or four days, and he just came back to eat and drink more water. So I don't know where he's going. He must have a girlfriend. <laughs> we couldn't figure out this morning why the goats weren't hungry. And Elizabeth just figured it out. Her whole bag of alfalfa pellets that she uses to milk uh, is gone, including the bag itself. So they ate the whole bag of alfalfa pellets. So yeah, that explains it. And come on, come on out, come on out, come on. It's nice and warm out here. It's springtime. Well, I don't know what happened this morning, but we ended up having a dead layer. Uh, we had one that was acting a little odd yesterday, but I didn't think anything of it. Just thought maybe it was because it was cold, because sometimes they'll do that. But no, just laying in the corner in here. Sometimes that happens. I've seen it more than once. And you know, actually thinking about it, the one thing we changed is we added that goose back in here. Maybe? I don't know. We've, when we removed the goose, we quit losing chickens in the summer. And we just added that goose back in. We got a dead one already? I don't know. Might be the goose. So we might try a different goose tonight. Let's see what happens. Look at the puppy dogs. You see her sleeping, sleeping in the hay. Like that. They must have been up all night, keeping the goats safe. Huh. Are you comfy? Are you dogs comfy? <laughs> Look at them. They're passed out. <laughs> Rough morning. Yeah. Kate, see what I mean about the goats trying their hardest to get into the feeder there? trying to stick her nose underneath the feeder. We really need to invest in one of those magnetic feeders. Maddie's editing in her video. This is the first video she's edited on her GoPro, so pretty exciting for her. What are you showing me? Um, my thing so far. Oh, that's cool. Good job. All right, we're gonna go check on these dogs. So yesterday when the goats were out, the dogs were out too. And uh, apparently they had been out most of the night because my neighbor called me about yesterday afternoon and was like, hey, I chased your dogs down the road. Um, so yeah, but when we came out in the morning, they were over here by the door with the goats. We didn't think anything of it. We thought, oh, maybe they just got out and that's kind of where they were. Now, nah, apparently my neighbor's dogs were barking so they went up to explore. Luckily, they came back. Maple, Fig, are you guys up there? <laughs> All right, I need to go up here and look because they're not answering me. Not usually a good sign. Are you guys just ignoring me? Huh? Are you just ignoring me? Are you ignoring me? I'm not very nice. That's good, they're in there. What's wrong? What's wrong? Is there something wrong with your foot? Or with your leg? Huh? Are you good? Are you good? All right, let me see. I don't look like she was walking funny, but apparently not. She's good. She was just running, so must be all right. All right, now that they're in, Happy about that. I gotta get ready to make some deliveries in town an hour away. So, gotta get our turkeys and chickens ready. A couple days for Thanksgiving and uh, we got a gentleman picking up a turkey. So, we gotta get it into him. 
It's snowing. By the way, the roads are really bad. It took me about an hour and a half to get home because instead of doing 60, I had to do 35 all the way home. And there's only about an inch of snow on the ground on the highway, but it is so slushy, it's very, very slick. Anyways, you can see. We still have the grain in the back of the truck because the tractor won't lift it yet. So we had to tarp it. Kids tarped it for me while it's gone. Uh, we got all our deliveries made today, so that makes me happy. <laughs> Look at these chickens. Barely coming out. I got them a treat today. We got them some fresh pine shavings. So I'm gonna go throw those down in there and give them a nice warm dry spot to lay in. Too, so we can fix this plastic. Okay. Okay. The are tiny. Yeah, this is uh, the flakes because they're all out of the other one. these chickens like <laughs> going through a molt. Hey, don't you know it's cold out here? Let's go to your molt sooner. <laughs> We're gonna expect it. <laughs> oh, some of them look pretty bad. Oh, hey, that bottom nesting box isn't open. Chickens must have knocked it closed. Is the stick over there? Okay. All right, I'm gonna go get some hay to put down on this wet spot out front. Get the stapler to fix this plastic so maybe the snow won't come in there. Could help. So as I was saying in yesterday's video, I leave stuff out. Kids leave stuff out. Can't really yell at them for leaving stuff out when you're doing it too, right? Anyways, this is their crowbar they use when they got those bricks undone. So now I'm gonna go put it away. Maddie's stapling that for me. I don't think she can reach all the way up though. Here, I'll trade you. Did it run out? Staples oh, you got the wrong stapler. There was four in there. All right, here. Get the mud in there. Yeah, I forgot I put it in here. Yeah, put that away. So now, close it about like that so the chickens can still come in and out, but the snow doesn't get in there as bad. All right, let's get some hay for this though. Dad, What's the next thing? Up. Huh? Oh yeah. They like it. They'll be out here laying in it, loving it. It's like the dogs. Oh yeah, they love fresh bedding. Scratch in it, dig down, make a little warm bed in it. It's all pretty. It's all really dry back here and nice and warm. You can see where they dig. Just up front where the snow kind of comes in right there. It gets a little wet sometimes. And uh, we just fixed the plastic, so hopefully that takes care of it. The hole back here is looking pretty good that the kids and wife filled in. Looks like they still have some food they're able to eat. Looks pretty good for now. So right now we have to add fresh bedding a couple times a week. And at some point in this little front section that we've been doing, once it gets built up enough, we won't have to add bedding, but every couple weeks, maybe even once a month, because it continually breaks down and therefore there's not a lot of moisture in it. <clears throat> and uh, the heat keeps it pretty dry and cooking pretty good. 
So you don't have to, at some point as you're adding bedding, all of a sudden you'll notice, wow, I don't actually have to add any more today. And that's kind of how the rest of the raking house is. We add a little bit here and there, but the chickens turn it around so much that not really a lot to add. It's just in the front where there isn't a whole bunch there. The goats are yelling at us. They said, it's dinner time, but it's too early. It's too early. <laughs> All right, I gotta get the snow off the top of that butcher station because it already has about six inches on it and I don't know how much more snow we're supposed to get today. And I don't want a lot of weight on that thing since uh, the poles aren't actually cementing into the ground. So I'm gonna grab a shovel and go do that. Well, it pretty well quit snowing. I went around every single roof and cleared all the snow off it, uh, except for the house, because the house doesn't really have a whole lot on it, so I'm not too worried about it. But I am paranoid since we lost our greenhouse last year, so I am making sure that these guys, like any of my buildings that have any kind of animals in them, I'm just clearing the snow off uh, within a couple inches. Just, I don't want to take any chance. Might be a bit much, it probably is. This one had about six inches of snow on it. But uh, just in case, you know, can't afford to lose any more structures this year. So anyways, pretty well quit snowing. I plowed and everything. And uh, the dogs are all good up there. You can see them staring at me. Still haven't got our freezer in the, in the house, but haven't had time to do it yet. Anyways, let's go check on Beth, see how she's doing on Thanksgiving pies. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. What do you got going on? Got a couple crustless pumpkin pies. What's this guy? That's an apple pie. Apple. Yum yum. Now what do you got going on over here? I'm going to roll out a crust to make a lemon meringue pie too. Well you got the whole workshop going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Busy busy. What time mm -hmm. is it? I don't even know. Oh boy. <laughs> well what are we on? We on Tuesday so she took the turkey out today and she just lets her sit on the counter probably what till tomorrow afternoon then put it in the fridge we'll just see how yeah. frosted it's, it is it's, it's 20, 30 pounds. 29 pounds no so. it's 30 is pounds. it 30 yeah oh. it's 30 pounds oh this is gonna be the biggest turkey we've ever cooked then yeah i i don't have a pan big enough we have to go to the store tomorrow <laughs> Oh boy. What what happened to that pan last year we used? That was a disposable one. Oh. All right. So well, we need to get there you go. 